Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you, my bull gang. Happy birthday to you, Taurus, if you're having a birthday today, or if you've had a birthday and you weren't in the comments or I didn't see you in the comments and I missed you, I didn't mean to do that. Thanks so much for um, for being here and for clicking here. If you are my ride or die, I'm so grateful for you. You're the ones who always click here all the time. I appreciate you so much, Taurus. I am your bully sister. Let's find out what's going on with these oracles here, and then we'll throw some tarot at it. Find out what is up for you, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First card out is community. Is card number 37. For some of you, you could be moving to a new community here. We have good luck. It is the beginning of something, right? We have card number 37, which is 10. And 10s break down to a 1. And then we have a 10 that breaks down to a 1. So we do have 1010 10 here. That might be an angel number for you, or you might be waiting to hear the message from 1010. 10. Um, um, and uh, uh, I feel like something is about to begin here, something that you would consider to be lucky. And uh, you could be moving to a new community. You could meet someone in your community. To me, community in the tarot is the three of pentacles. So cooperation, collaboration, meeting new people, um, busy bees. Yeah, it feels like you are about to become part of a community, possibly for some of you. Maybe you've been seeking a community. We have the cycle of increase. I love it. Bottom of the deck, we have present power. Look, Taurus, this is your time, right? This is going to be an extravagant month for you, and I mean in terms of things going your way. So the increase for you, for some of you, could be money. It could be um, luck. <laughs> it could be community, right? You could be increasing, increasing your friend group, possibly but you're definitely in increasing your present power. This person has both a lion and a tiger on a chain here. This person is in control. That That is the person who is sort of... Um, you know, these, these two uh, animals here are not listening to what this person says, but listening to their power, right? Because animals, they communicate with each other intuitively, right? Because they don't have the power to speak. So they, they are feeling the present power. They are feeling the energy, and that's why they stay in spot here. Because this energy... This energy empowers them. We could be looking at a man's body, but feminine or masculine, take it as it resonates for you. One more card. There is going to be an increase, though, in the week ahead. Something. Look, somebody could buy you a coffee. <laughs> you could end up winning on something small and a scratch ticket. But there is going to be an increase, whether that's in your attitude or in your money, your abundance, your family. There is going to be some type of an increase here. We do have health and it says health issues could arise now we're not going to ignore that it came out in the reverse i feel like that for some of you if you did have a health issue it was probably minor and if it did arise i feel like you've taken care of it already because it is coming out in the reverse let's take one more card And we have communicate. So compromise, uh, forgive, and work it out. Look, the health issues can arise from stress, from anxiety, from, from the harshness that your body, your cells, your microcells, all of that that your body goes through when, you know, the health changes that you go through when you don't speak your mind, when you don't communicate, when you don't push it out your mouth. It says compromise, forgive, and work it out. You don't have to forgive anybody who did something wrong to you. What you need to do is release it and let it go, which means you're allowing the forgiveness because you just don't want to have to deal with the stress that it's causing you. And 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 please, please understand that, that health um, is very, very connected to how you communicate, what you keep inside and what you decide to expel. People who keep it inside and don't talk about it, and that could mean with friends, psychology, psychiatry, those people uh, manifest their own sickness. So please make sure that you are communicating clearly with people um, you know, even if you have to compromise, uh, if you have to f uh, forgive, um, just make sure that you're working it out so you are not holding it in because it can it can totally just make you sick. All right, physically ill, mentally ill. Tell me more about Taurus, please. Tell me more about Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know about the week ahead, please? So we have a new, be, a new cycle that's beginning here, and it's an increase likely in your community, which means, means like maybe you're moving to a new community or maybe it's a group of friends. Yeah, it does feel like for some of you, maybe you're moving or you're changing friend groups. The death card is here. It is transformation in your community, and I do believe it's going to bring you to a new beginning. Card number 37 is a 10 that breaks down to a 1, which is the beginning of something, and here's the end of something. So for some of you, I feel like you're... 
you are relieving yourself of a community that possibly was not the best for your mental health, your physical health. Tell me about the increase. The increase is coming slowly. So there is something, an opportunity that is going to present itself to you. And I feel like this is an opportunity to increase something, whether that's better health, better friends, better lifestyle. Um, maybe for some of you, it's money, a better job. Uh, take it as it, as it might resonate in your own life. But it looks like there is something that is still heading on its way to you. Tell me about communicate and health, please. We do have the tower. So I feel like um, it's a realization. It's a realization that if you don't say what you need to say, even if it loses friends, even, even if people don't like it, Taurus, you need to say it. It's a realization that if you keep it in, it could really impact your health, my friend. You really need to know how to communicate. And if you don't know how, go find somebody who specializes in that to help you um, to help you figure out how to communicate. Look, if, you, if you're not interested in communicating, maybe it's just time to move away from the chaos and figure it out yourself. Um, the Six of Swords is about movement, but it's also about taking lessons with you that you've learned and realizing when it's time to cut out of the chaos and I mean the friends who have drama if you're a person who is trying to keep your life drama free and you got people all around you that are creating their own drama it's time to move on Taurus it's not good for your health and you just need to say you know what I understand that you're having a hard time but I'm not the professional that you should be talking to about these really big issues that are having an impact on your life there's always a way to say it right so I feel like um, I feel like you you are going to have some sort of a realization that it's time to move on from something here. Yeah, I feel Taurus that that there is a a group of people that you might have hung out with or are hanging out with. I want to say these people limit you. It says limited potential, shy and withholding. I feel like the people, the group of people, the community that you need to end the contact with are people who minimize you, people who tell you maybe they don't have any potential, maybe they feel they don't have any potential. And so that is actually what happens to you or is what's happening to you. You take on their issues, their problems, and it starts to become yours. And I feel like these people are withholding from you. I feel like you are somebody who people speak up for rather than letting you speak your mind. Um, it does feel like somebody here has to let go of a community that's not necessarily working in their favor. It's time for you to find a new soul tribe, a new best friend. It feels like something here is holding you back, my friend, and uh, minimizing actually who you are. Um, we do have this increase here. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to ignore that the, that the Ice Queen is here. To me, that's the Queen of Swords. Look, that's the liberation. When you decide, Taurus, that you are going to liberate yourself from whatever's been holding you back, whether that's a group of people or um, a job, whatever it is here, I really do feel like you're being limited. Look, if you want to be a millionaire, hang out with millionaires. If you want to be a rodeo clown, hang out with rodeo clowns. Be the best roller skater by hanging out with roller skaters who are better than you like it feels like they're this group that you're in here sees your potential knows your potential and they are limiting your potential but only because you're allowing you to understand i don't feel like they're they're forcing you to do anything i feel like you don't want to be alone you don't want to lose these friends but i feel like they are um they are not doing as much good for your life um, as they are for bad. Something has to give here. Something's got to end or transform. And I feel like when you end this, um, the contact with this group of people, because make no mistake about it, you're exactly like the first six people you hang around with. So you better start looking at the people who hang around with you. Are they overly dramatic? Do they cause problems? Do, are they the all, always the one pointing the finger at someone else saying that's their problem? They did this to me. They made me do this. Then that might be the group I'm talking about. <laughs> Tell me more about this, please. We do have uh, the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and we have the King of Cups. So I really do feel that you love these people. You love this community, and I feel like you give it your all, Taurus. I feel like you are the person who is protective of your community, protective of your friends. I feel like with the King of Cups being here, that you are the person who gives them unconditional love. You're the person who's always strong for them, but gives them unconditional love. This is Scorpio energy, but also Pisces and Cancer. We do have the Ace of Swords, which is in the reverse. 
reverse. And I want to say that there's no clarity here for you. You're not growing. So maybe you're teaching them and they're growing, but you're not growing at all. I want to say that maybe when you give them advice, it falls on deaf ears. When you tell them things that you've been through, like you know how this is going to end for them because that's generally the way that thing usually ends when you when you act certain certain type of way. And I feel like it's falling on deaf ears. I feel like with the two of cups, it could mean that maybe you're dating someone from this group or maybe this is a friend group of your spouse or the person that you're dating. Um, the two of cups here. It feels like for some of you, you feel as though if you have to let go of the group, you let go of the pe person that you're dating. And I'll say to you, if the person you're dating is the one who's hanging out with these kind of people, where do you think your future is going? You're going to need to make the decision. Now, the Ice Queen here, as I see it here, it looks like when you decide to stand up, when you liberate yourself and use your um, use your discernment here, I feel like things get exponentially better. The Ice Queen is the one who's going to speak up, and I was just talking about it over here. You need to say something. If people are acting shady, if they're, you know, doing things that, you know, that was like you'll say to yourself, well, that, that doesn't that doesn't sound right. Why would they do that to somebody? That is the person I'm talking about. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, and I feel like it's taken you a really long time to stand up. And for some of you, as you as you are in this reading right now, you still haven't stood up to this group of people because you're scared to be alone. You don't want to be alone. You don't want to be without a bestie or you, you might have to leave a relationship because this person is not willing to leave this group of people. So I, I feel like there is probably... Yeah, there's one person here who is the ringleader, and I think that that person is the person that if you are dating someone from this group, that's probably the person that you're dating, the one who is the uh, the king the king of cups, possibly. But this ice queen here, it's taken you a lot of time to stand up, and it might be, you know, it says she's a mother. It might be that you're hanging out with a bunch of mothers that aren't really good to their children, or they're putting their children, you know, in places that you know, getting them to leave in order for them to be able to party or drink or have fun or like it feels like it's it's something that bothers you and um, you haven't said anything. But I feel like for if you do say something here, I feel like you get an increase. The cycle changes for you because you if you always do the same thing you always did, Taurus, you're always going to get what you always got. And I feel like the Ice Queen here or the Queen of Swords tells me it's time for you to stand up. It may take you some time and maybe you haven't even done it yet, but the opportunity will present itself for you to just say you know what no I'm not going back there I'm not going back to that group I'm not going back to whatever it is that they're doing I'm gonna do something different so we do have the the fool the, the uh, three of cups and the three of wands I really do think that this kind of says it all it says here it's time for you to try something new to get into a new cycle a new cycle of increase I feel like these people are holding you down or holding you back don't want you to go to the next level don't want you to go to the next um to the next uh um, yeah, the next level, I'm going to say. And I feel like the next level holds a lot of stuff for you here. They see the potential in you, and that's why they try to limit you. The Fool is here. We've got the Three of Cups. I'm going to say you're going to meet a new group of people. It's going to be celebratory. When you finally stand up and you say something to these people, they're probably going to say to you, good, that don't come back. And you're going to be like, I won't come back. You might go home and cry for three weeks. But I'm telling you, this is the best scenario for you. It's time for you to walk away with your own wand. It's time for you to inspire the self. It's time for you to be excited excited about the next path that you're going to go on. It's time for you to take some type of leap of faith. I feel like it's going to take time to get there, Taurus, because you don't do anything quickly. You do everything slowly and you are so loyal that it's really hard to, to let go of a group of people even though they're acting a fool. And I feel like you try and tune it out or you don't say anything or you don't want to you don't want to get into an argument with them. But I feel like the universe is saying to you, it's time to take a leap. And the leap is, it's time for you to find your voice. It's time for you to stand up. And it's time for you to walk away from things that don't work for you. I feel like the, the Three of Cups is telling me this will be a celebratory time. Um, when you do finally say something. So we do have the brunette female here, and uh, it could be feminine or masculine. Take it as it resonates. This is a this is a picture of a woman, but we don't know if it's feminine or masculine energy in there. We have intense and focused. We have the tower. This could be you. Um, it doesn't have to be. It could be somebody else. I feel like there is somebody here that you need to communicate with. 
For some of you, it could be a group of people. For some of you, it could be one person. I feel like this person intimidates you. And if they don't intimidate you, it's someone who will bark back. It's someone who will bite, who plays dirty, who says mean things. And I think that you've kind of been avoiding that, but the tower's here. And I think you're going to have some sort of a realization that you need to get on your feet, pick up your sword, and you need to communicate or you're going to be sick. I'm telling you, holding it in will make you sick. Having the stress and anxiety, it's its way less about what you eat, how you move, um, and how you treat your body. It's way less about that than it is about stress. When you have stress and anxiety in your life, it keeps you in fight or flight mode, and it will keep you sick. It will keep you physically and mentally ill. Tell me why the tower is here, please. We have the Temperance card, we have the King of Swords, and we have the Knight of Wands. So this is going to happen all in divine timing. Temperance is here saying that the moment of alchemy will be here. And I feel like the King of Swords being here tells me that when you stand up to say something, the King of Swords is going to stand up to say something back. So you better be ready. Because <laughs> I feel like with the Knight of Wands here, it tells me that this is going to be a fiery conversation. It also tells me that it's going to happen in a moment's notice. It's like maybe we're going to go out for dinner with our friends tonight and we're sitting at dinner and that one across the table says something super disparaging that you usually would ignore. You usually would just say, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to fight. I don't want to bring the night down. But I think this time you're going to stand up from the damn ta table and say, what was that that you said exactly? I want you to repeat what you said. I feel like there's going to be some type of really harsh head over heart communication. And I feel like it's going to be between the king and the queen of swords. So I feel like you are the king or the queen. You can pick your side, but it's time for you to stand up, whether you are the king or the queen, but I feel like you're going to be met with somebody who is going to fight you toe to toe. And so you're going to have to decide, decide at that time, are you going to walk away or are you going to just sit down and take it? Sit down, shut up, and take it some more. I feel like the tower comes down in the middle of a social uh, engagement. That's what it feels like. In the middle of a social engagement, somebody's going to stand up and, and puff their chest up to you. And then you're going to stand up and say, no, nah, bro, I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm done with that. It feels like there is some sort of a um, a tiff, I'm going to say. Uh, but it feels like it, it probably ends up in you cutting some people out. You're on your way. And I think that you can't avoid it. I feel like it's almost like you're getting ready for the night with your person and everything is fine and you get into the situation and everything's fine and then boom it blows up and now you got to take care of it so it's a moment of alchemy you're not going to know when that's coming um so the outcome here look you've had a breakthrough we have the star and the star is feeling inspired it's also having hope we do have the hanged man energy you know i feel like um when this does go down, I feel like it will put you in the hanged man energy. Or maybe you're there before this goes down. And I think that you're hopeful that things will all work out. I'm going to say it will work out for you. You're about to get an increase. The sun is here. You're having the breakthrough and the tower. The sun and the tower is a major awakening. You're like, no, uh, you know what? We're not doing this again. And you're not the one who's going to berate or badger anybody in this group anymore. And I've had enough. And you know how it is with Taurus, right? You take it and you take it and you take it just because you want to keep things solid and sturdy and grounded and dependable you just take it and take it but when you're done you're absolutely done you have a breakthrough this is where you stand up i feel like you are standing up because you were hoping that this person was not going to get it this way again was not going to do this thing again but they did and so i feel like once it's all over it feels like you you have this sort of awakening this this realization that you know what i did the right thing i don't think i'm going back there it's a it's a realization it's it's you and your growth right the sun is all about growing um personally professionally spiritually and uh, the star is about healing, but it also is about hope. And I feel like um, trying to see it from another perspective is really important. And when you start to see things from a different perspective, you stop demonizing people, right? You stop looking at the King of Swords as a demon because they came up against you. You start looking at them with a little bit of compassion because you realize that this person's hard-headed, hot-headed. They don't, they don't deal with anything with their emotions. They just are trying to get dominion over you. I feel like you you realize that. I feel like you're you're changing um, a toxic 
karmic cycle that you're in. That's what it feels like. You're moving away from this toxic story or uh, and you're going, you're heading off into new opportunities. What it's, that's what it says here. I feel like you're heading into new opportunities as we go into the week ahead. This could happen in the week ahead though. And I feel like as you get into sort of the weekend energy, I feel like this is probably going to happen somewhere closer to the weekend, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Taurus, for being here. I appreciate you. Don't stop loving on people. You are the the lover and uh, please don't stop doing that love on the ones that require it and it's time for you to get out of this group of people who have been holding you down by the ankles it's time for you to fly you need to go to your next level i'm up for now thanks taurus for being here and watching i appreciate you i'm gonna go for now love you guys Bye bye